Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 3 of Lucid SMP. Now, as you notice, I may have some diamond tools. Oh, maybe if I uh, scoot over a little. I have some diamond tools. And some diamond armor. I did go mining off camera for a while. Like, a while. And that's why this has been so long. I've been getting resources. I've been trying to build up my farms. I've I've killed a few of these things. Cows. Um, see if I can find any of it. And I've also been just sitting here waiting for these oak trees. Because today, we have a pretty big project up ahead. Uh, something that I am typically not good at as you can see cow we've got we got some cow um typically not good at so let's get back to our base and first off i'll show you where i've been gathering resources um uh, down this tunnel a spider calm down uh, I've been gathering resources down these tunnels. There's a reason why these tunnels are here. Um, you just guys gotta just wait and see how what ha why I have these tunnels. That'd be a future episode. But let's head back to the base and let's get started on what we're gonna do in today's episode. There is a a lot of things I have. It's going to be... Is that a structure? That is a structure. A structure I've never noticed. Okay. One episode, we've got to do some exploring around our base. But yes. Let's get back to the base, and um, get started. We are here by the dock. Uh, let me just show you what we're going to be doing today. We will be improving my cave. Now, this is also one thing I've been working on, just to make it wider, and... The one thing I probably will end up doing is about like right here, instead of going this, extend, make it go out that way, that direction, because I feel like building, because I want to build a cave right here, and I feel like the cave will be a little too close to, you know, the walkway here, because I plan to build a path, a path this way, as you read the sign, path to the jungle village. Now. I just want to give you guys a little backstory. You probably saw this. The Blue's Fishing Hut. And there's a reason why I named it Blue's... There's a reason why I named it Blue's Fishing Hut. So, I had a cat a few years ago. Well, I guess last year. It meant the world to me. And she ended up passing away. Uh, such a sweetheart. She was such a sweetheart. And so, she meant the world to me. Here's, I'm going to put a photo just right above my base, right on my starter base, of what she looked like. She was a adorable cat. And then June's fishing and more, which is this little fishing area that eventually, hopefully, maybe, will eventually get stocked. Just as a, just a little goofy area, storage uh, June's my other cat. Uh, I got June and Blue from the same people. They looked they look a very they looked a very identical. And so, yeah, I've decided to honor these buildings by naming them after my my cats. One that has passed away and left this world too too early. And another with my precious little dear June. Also, editor me. In the future, can you post a video, a uh, photo of June right here? Maybe blue and then June. Blue and June. Yeah, yeah. 
But anyway, back to the video. I think I'm gonna push this out just a little. And set that there for right now. I know I should be using a shovel for dirt. Actually, I'm just going to use my shovel for dirt. Alright. So our tunnel ends right here. Wrong button. So let's remove this bush here. I like how I have all these tools and I do not use them. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just seal this hole back in. Um, Let me just beautify this place. Make sure no mobs can spawn in this premises. As you probably figured out, main mobs do not mix well. There we go. And I need more dirt. Do we have dirt in here? No. I have... Oh, there's my <laughs> my birch boat. I have two boats. And I some most of the time, I don't even know where half of them are. Let me take a quick nap. Let me take a quick nap. And then we'll get back into building. After I get some dirt blocks, too. Okay, um, let's get to grab some of this dirt. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more dirt. And I need a lot more dirt. In two different ways. Because I wanna cover this cave with some dirt. Yeah. Okay, so, as I got the it laid out, um, first time actually ever terraforming a Cave. I think I like this. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I think I like this. But we're gonna have to get on top of this cave to get s some of this dirt laid out. Okay. Ouch, I fell again. I, let me just regain those hearts. Now, like I said, I don't know how this is going to look. This is my first time extra actually terraforming a just a cave in general. Oh my goodness. I really need some scaffolding. I'm just going to... And though I took this off, I'm just going to put that back there for my own safety. Oh, no! Okay. And I think I'm just going to follow this path for just this. Hold up. Okay. I'm just gonna basically bring out a hill here. Ooh. 
just a nice hill. Okay. It's gonna make that seem like it flows just a lot, lot better. And just place some torches around so nothing spawns. Because I don't want to die. Because knowing myself, I will, I will end up dying. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good for the most part. Um, I don't know how to design the front of the cave, so. Um, we're just going to leave that up to my imagination that it's complete. We're going to fill this in. Okay, so we're going to... Come in like this. It's going to use a lot of dirt. Ooh, I don't want that just right there. Okay, and then we're going to come in with this. Oh. It's going to come in with this one. Right here. I've done some terraforming in, you know, other worlds, but not this much terraform like terraforming I do makes it look like a grand staircase this is a terraforming I have not really messed with and oh boy before I get struck by lightning I am gonna go back to my bed. And go to sleep. Alrighty. Alright, so that thunderstorm is gone. I'm going to get on top of here. And I'm just going to... Yeah, that gives it some character. I want to... Push this just back a tad. And yeah, this will I think will look good. I don't know. You guys put in the comments how you feel about it. I'm still indifferent about it. It might change. It might not. Uh, I'm not sure. I just know I want to build a cave around my mate cave entrance, my mine entrance. Um, let's just fill this in with some dirt because I don't like stony patches here and let's fill this in and what I want to do is clear all of this out okay we're gonna clear all this out And I know I just said I don't like stone, but I have a plan. Okay, now we just gotta clear all this out. All 
this dirt out. Just taking a little bit because I do not have a beacon. And I don't plan to get a beacon here because it just ruins the vibe, you know? Okay. Alright. And just line... I'm just going to line the walls with this stone here. Cover some of this dirt. We're going to need a lot more stone than I thought. So let's just grab all the stone I have right now. We're going to lay this stone here and I'm going to put some slabs right here. I'm going to place all of this. Oh. Wrong place, stone. Alright, after fancying up our little cave here, which, not going to lie... I'm not really pleased with it. So, the goal is to do something like this. I don't know how to feel about this, so if you guys want to put in the comments how you feel about it, maybe if I do something like this, it'll look better. Let me get up here. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that. And put some supports basically right here. Yeah, I think that'll look a lot better. And if I just push that up to the wall. Yeah. But anyway, let's do a quick time lapse of me doing this. And then, like I said, I don't know how to feel about this. If you guys have like a different design at night, like a different idea of how I should do it, I feel like I want to do it like this, where it's a three by three basically trunk right here, and three by three by three, basically excluding this like the stairway part, but like three trunks here, three up here, three, three out, you know, that way.
I am done with the tunnel, as you can see. Now, it does need a little bit more texturing and stuff, which I will do off camera. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to texture this. I'm not sure what I want the walls yet. Um, if you guys got any, like, suggestions or what I should do with the walls, I feel like I don't want to keep it stone. And maybe, maybe up, like, the, on these. I don't know how to feel about this. You guys put in the comments how you feel about it. But I might put, like, how many stone I've mined, how many, like, materials I've mined, excuse me. But down here, I'm not sure what I want to do. I might make like a little archway right here. So look, we just have an archway going around all the way down. Maybe moss the ground. I'm not sure. Just put in the comments what you guys think will fit this this air this mine shaft pretty well. And now to the next project we have, which is actually going to require this shovel as from right here as we're going to start so you see the sign path to jungle village which if i get this mined out just a tad bit now terraforming will be a huge thing here I'm pushing I'll push this back I want to be able to walk up this whoa that was crazy forgot what <laughs> that's just one click my friend as I want to make this a two-step one basically one step up and then you get to your next spot. So push this out a little. And I might just flatten this right here. Okay. Well, we got that. I'm going to probably actually I'm going to put that dirt back whoops that's not how I wanted it just push this back just a tad bit alrighty so now we gotta looks um, very unnatural Ugh. I do not like that Just need a two by two path. Okay, that looks just a little bit better. Still not the best, but that will I'll get the job done. And what I want to do is place this with sand or insta mine all with this basically just to remove basically just to remove all this There we go. Now there's no sandstone. And actually, I'm going to keep that there. And now we got a pretty smooth path. I just need to a... 
plan where I want this. So. What? What? I need to take my torches off my... Out of that. Replace my axe with that. Okay, so we want to go through the jungle here. this path and I do want to take them on a little journey oh no why thoughts not nice eh, out of here out of here dirt block I and mean, I should probably fix my shovel we want to not do that And I'm going to keep that tree there. I forgot I put silk touch on this shovel. So now I can get leaves from it. Basically, straight up this mountain is where I want to put it, but I've got to go fix my good old shovel. And as we're in that, before we actually do that, I've got to hook up another path to this, this one. have those two paths connect there because I want to keep the integrity of this jungle and then have have it also connect there ooh getting a little dark out here Alright, so I'm going to light up, temporarily light up this little path here. Actually, the easier solution is to just climb the jungle trees, right? No. Oh, and I should probably get a... And a path down to there. As we will take my book to go quickly to sleep. Because we're going to need some sleep. And I need sleep in IRL. Sleep IRL. Because it's 1.13 in the morning when I'm recording this. Alright. So back to path planning. Because I want a few paths leading up to it. So we got that path, and then I want a path from the nether portal to go there. As you can see, path to jungle village.
Where was that creeper? Oh my goodness. That creeper scared me. I was off in my own little lala world. I didn't notice a creeper was by behind me until I heard the sizzling. Oh. I got so into placing blocks. That will be our paths in the jungle. Now, I'll be planting like more trees around here, so it'd be a little bit more lush, 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 lush full, and it wouldn't look so like open. Well, I'm gonna go get my tools fixed at our local Enderman farm, and I'll meet you back when we get ready to build the jungle path. <laughs> 